welcome welcome my dear friends myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in my youtube channel which is called as a ayurveda academy channel by professor dr r r deshpande today's topic is very interesting because this topic is in the two ways very important one for the examination purpose of fourth year bams students they have the subject kaya chikitsa that is internal medicine and there is one topic called as a fever and the different types of fevers are asked in the examination and one of the cause of the fever is chicken pox okay another important thing this chicken pox is very common in medical general practice so i request all the students and all the doctors please see this video very carefully hear each and every sentence which is very simple and short but sweet this type of the video okay so let us discuss about chicken pox one of the type of the fever one of the cause of the fever is chicken pox especially common in the children and also sometimes in the adults so myself is professor dr rajendra raghuveer deshpande i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology for paid online consultation and paid online bms classes you can definitely contact to ayurveda academy by only whatsapp i request because of the time restraint i cannot attend your phone calls so please whatsapp on 9226810630 okay so this video will be included in the playlist kaya chikitsa fourth year bms attention fourth year bms students and internal medicine so this is common for doctors as well so this is kai chikitsa lecture for fourth year bams students according to the ccm syllabus paper 1 part b point number 1 that is fever and one of the sub topic is chicken pox it is in ayurveda the word is laghu masuri ka don't forget this name chicken pox is called in ayurved laghu masuri ka positive virus is identical to the virus of herpes zoster this is very important because herpes zoster is a very complicated and serious acute disease which is giving a very burning sensation and typical vesicles on the skin occurs and that is called as a herpes zoster so this is a similar identical to that virus of herpes zoster incubation period 14 to 18 days so if the child comes with the chicken pox lagu masurika problem then you will have to enquire about the history whether this particular child is been contact with this similar type of the patient in the previous in the last 15 days so don't expect that it may occur just last day contact and today you will get the symptoms no contact may be before 15 days and you will get the symptoms after 15 days is it clear that is called as a incubation period clinical features onset is very acute immediate malaise severe headache weakness fever prodromal rash remember rash appears on the first day itself this is the difference in the chicken pox and the measles because there is always a confusion in the mind of the student sometimes because both are giving the rash but chicken pox rash is immediately on the first day itself lagu masurika this is vesicular rash huh? macule papule vesicles etc etc these are the different types of skin rash or skin lesion i can say skin lesion l e s i o n macule at the level of the skin papule little bit up vesicular up and with fluid that is called as a vesicular with each fresh crop of rash temperature rises first day here temperature more again on the second side here again the temperature rises chicken pox rash is centripetal in appearance but centrifugal in progress this is very important centripetal and centrifugal do you understand so rash when starts appearing it is centripetal that is rash first appears 
on the central part of the body here in the abdomen on the chest there will be first it, this will start over here okay in appearance but centrifugal but when it spreads it spreads to the hands and legs that is called as a centrifugal centripetal central centrifugal periphery another feature of rash very important features this will be asked in the oral or the viva these are typical specialties of the rash you must remember about the chicken pox first about the rash is centripetal in appearance but centrifugal in post progress second rash appears on the first day and third feature it is pleomorphism i will utter this word three times chicken pox rash pleomorphism chicken pox see my cursor chicken pox rash pleomorphism chicken pox rash pleomorphism don't forget this can be a mcq question when you go for entrance examination for md or ms a i p e g t huh? all india entrance examination pg entrance examination that there will be mcqs and this is very common to ask this question the rash of chicken pox is pleomorphism what does it mean pleo means many 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 variety at the same time all types of rashes are seen on the hands there may be pacule on the left side there will be macule then papule then there will be vesicles with the fluid and pustule with the pus four types of the rashes macule papule vesicle and pustule macule means at the level of skin papule rash is little bit up 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 that is papule when that papule is filled with the fluid vesicular rash when that up part is filled with pus that is pustule so four words together on the one side here macule here papule on the leg on the chest there may be vesicles on the abdomen there will be pustules so at the same time four types of variety of rashes are there in chicken pox which is called as pleomorphism this video is very short but very interesting and very important then there will be after separation of crust no scar remember this word no scar after removing the crust there will be no scar okay treatment symptomatic treatment because it is a viral infection tablet prosine for the fever paracetamol okay one half for the children half tablet morning afternoon evening night qid four times in a day or you can use when the child is very small syrup prosine one tsf three times in a day 3ds okay for itching because in chicken pox there will be itching so you can give anti histaminic anti allergic anti pruritic what is the tablet avil two tablets or two and half one half tsf you can give the liquid syrup avil syrup avil is available one two days but remember this cause drowsiness sleepiness the child may be sleepy little bit drowsy okay so don't allow the child to go out and to play or to play the run the sub bicycle no not allowed complete rest for a viral infection and caladril lotion externally application caladril if complication like pustule pustule means pus that is infection super added infection then you must start antibiotic usually antibiotic is not antiviral remember this words bacteria different virus is different but when vir this viral infection but this pustule some infection over super added that it is called as a super added bacterial infection when bacterial infection is there you must start syrup erythromycin that is erythromycin is antibiotic one tsf morning afternoon evening and night qid four times in a day okay prevention this disease can be prevented by giving injection varilix injection varilix 0.5 subcutaneous 12 months 
to 12 years child you can give this particular injection for prevention two doses at the interval of 6 to 12 weeks that means either one and half month to nearly about four months uh, sorry you can repeat for the three month after three months first dose and then after three months that is prevention this is vaccine okay ayurvedic management yes many students are interested to know about ayurveda this is kapha pitta ja jwara chikitsa if you want to treat chicken pox you have to give kapha pitta ja jwara jwara means fever chikitsa vilvadi gutika in ayurveda i am not going to discuss contents and because there are many many uh, i have made the videos regarding the ayurvedic formulations you can see that playlist ayurvedic medicines now here only i will mention the name of the medicine vilvadi gutika gutika means tablet or pancha nimba gutika vati and guti okay two times bd two morning tablets two in the evening with anupana guduchadi kashaya guduchi tinospora cordifolia giloe immunomodulator antiviral antipyretic huh? so guduchadi kashaya or antiseptic nimbadi kashaya or mrudvikadi kashaya mrudvikadi kashaya 2 tsf with equal amount of water two times in a day with these tablets got it okay pathya 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 is very important huh? in ayurveda do's and don'ts the patient can take green gram mudg mug green gram pulses palm granite grapes dhumapan with gugulu to prevent that push pus formation dhumapan fumigation treatment okay with burning the gugulu okay then bitter vegetables for eating purpose rak rakshogna karma rakshogna antiseptic okay neem leaves bath you can put the neem leaves in the water and then you can take the uh, uh, bath okay apatya do not do not physical contact because this is samsarga janya vyadhi in ayurveda samsarga janya vyadhi contagious diseases so no physical contact don't allow the child to go to school don't go to your office don't go to your business don't take rest okay hard work no not allowed complete rest in any viral infection what is the best treatment is it antiviral medicine antiviral tablet no rest is very important rest okay for example jaundice three week rest we always advise day sleep not allowed hmm? oily fried heavy sour food not allowed apatya don't do that so this is all about kai chikitsa lecture for fourth year bams students according to ccm syllabus paper 1 part b point number 1 in the topic of fever i have discussed about chicken pox in the next video i will discuss another variety of fever another type of the fever or another cause of the fever till that i wish you all the best for your examination and for your practice सो सर्वे सुखिन सन्तु सर्वे सन्तु निरामय सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत मा कशिदुखमा ऑल द बेस्ट